Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about involuntary treatment and the traumas associated with it. It's a topic that's not talked about enough, but it affects many individuals who have been subjected to it. Before we dive into the topic, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on my future videos. What is involuntary treatment? Involuntary treatment refers to psychiatric treatment that is imposed on a person without their consent. This could involve hospitalization, medication, or any other form of treatment that the person did not agree to. Involuntary treatment is typically used when a person is considered a danger to themselves or others due to their mental health condition. Traumas associated with involuntary treatment. Involuntary treatment can be extremely traumatic for individuals who have experienced it. The trauma associated with involuntary treatment can vary depending on the individual's experience, but it often includes feelings of powerlessness, helplessness, and loss of control. The person may feel violated, stigmatized, and ashamed of their mental health condition. The trauma can also lead to a lack of trust in the mental health system and mental health professionals. Furthermore, involuntary treatment can result in long-lasting trauma that affects the individual's ability to seek help in the future. They may be hesitant to seek treatment due to their past experience, leading to a lack of access to the help they need. Additionally, involuntary treatment can have a ripple effect on their relationships with family and friends. The individual may feel isolated and disconnected from their loved ones, leading to a sense of loneliness and abandonment. Alternatives to involuntary treatment There are alternative approaches to involuntary treatment that prioritize the individual's autonomy and involve them in the decision-making process. For example, supported decision-making involves individuals with mental health conditions in their treatment planning and decision-making process. Peer support and counseling can also be helpful in providing individuals with the support they need to manage their mental health conditions without resorting to involuntary treatment. Moreover, family and community support can play a crucial role in helping individuals with mental health conditions. Creating a supportive environment that values their autonomy and choices can go a long way in preventing involuntary treatment and supporting their recovery. In conclusion, involuntary treatment can have significant long-term effects on individuals with mental health conditions. The trauma associated with it can impact their ability to seek help in the future and affect their relationships with their loved ones. It's important to recognize the trauma associated with involuntary treatment and work towards alternative approaches that prioritize the individual's autonomy and involve them in the decision-making process. Let's work together to create a supportive environment that values the choices and dignity of individuals with mental health conditions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.